Southern California. 12,000 years ago, the sea levels are rising, the megafauna are all but extinct, and a new people with a different lifestyle and technologies have entered the scene. Like the Palo Coastal peoples who precede them, they led a nomadic lifestyle. They are referred to by archaeologists as the San Dieguito Complex due to their artifacts being found in the San Diego County area. They are probably understood due to very little stratigraphic information and or datable materials recovered from sites. Thus, there are many arguments in the study of early man in California as to what the San Dieguito Complex was, the debate going back almost a century. Many similar lithics are found in the Mojave and as far north as Mono Lake and Owens Valley in northeastern California. Even claims that there are similar lithics found in the southwest and even Texas. It is believed these sites are local interpretations of the San Dieguito Complex instead of the makers of the lithics being directly related to the culture. What is the most definitive artifact found in San Dieguito sites is scrapers. This is what gave the culture its first name, the scraper makers. One site that portrays the lifestyle of the San Dieguito Complex is the C.W. Harris site located on the San Dieguito River. Dating prior to 7030 BC to 6540 BC, radiocarbon dated by charcoal fragments found in their hearth. Like other sites of the culture, it is situated on a ridge and unlike other sites contains midden. As expected, the most numerous artifacts found there were scrapers. This was followed by knives, a few arrowheads, hammer stones, and engraving tools. Interestingly, there was what is called a pendant made of obsidian called an eccentric. Its purpose unfortunately unknown. Now on to other complexes which as aforementioned are worth mentioning due to how similar they are to the San Diego complex. Found inland from the Mojave and Death Valley up to the Owens Valley. Leaf shoot knives are found here that resemble those of the desert and coastal San Diego complexes, but mostly resembling the former. These are the complexes that have been found that are similar to the San Diego complex, yet more evidence is needed to prove the similarities between the artifacts found at the sites and the peoples who made them. Now the question is, what happened to these peoples? For the cultures inland, it is believed they evolved into different archaeological cultures such as the Belma complex, yet on the coast, there has been more research conducted. From the north in around 6500 BC arrived a new people, once called the Millingstone Horizon, the most influential culture of natives found in California. It is now understood to have created regional complexes. In the case of what was the land of the San Diego complex, they were called the La Jolla complex, formerly the Shelmidden people. In older archaeological reports, it is still not understood if they replaced or assimilated the peoples of the San Diego complex. This new archaeological complex is characterized by sites consisting of Shelmiddens and milling stone tools and sites, showing a reliance of these new peoples on the ocean in a more settled lifestyle. One artifact recovered from this time of transition is an eccentric. As mentioned, a rare artifact found at San Diego complex sites, but virtually non-existent in Millingstone Horizon sites, and most importantly, the state artifact of California. Known as the Chipped Stone Bear, it was found in Agua Hedionda Lagoon in Carlsbad. This piece measures 2.5 by 1.5 inches, dated to 7,000 to 8,000 years ago. This piece was created during a time of change in the region. As previously mentioned, as the San Diego complex became absorbed by the arrival of the La Jolla complex peoples, this artifact may illustrate the end of the great beast hunters in a replacement by a settled and seafaring society, an old San Diego napper keeping alive a reminder of how his people tamed this land. In defiance of the lifestyle that would define the native cultures and societies of Southern California for thousands of years until the arrival of the Europeans, their future would now look towards the sea.